The James Webb Space Telescope has just identified a galaxy that shouldn't exist this early in the universe's history. Named Alec Nanda, it's a fully formed spiral galaxy observed only 1.5 billion years after the Big Bang, long before our models say such structure should appear. This adds to a growing set of early galaxies that seem too organized and too massive for their epoch, suggesting that some parts of our galaxy formation framework may need revision. In this video, we will explore what Alec Nanda is, why it matters, and what it means for our understanding of the early universe. Let's get started. Alec Nanda was discovered while JWST was observing a field behind the galaxy cluster Abel 2733. The cluster's gravitational lensing magnified the light from the galaxies behind it, allowing JWST to resolve details that would otherwise be far too faint. Among the lensed objects, researchers noticed a galaxy with surprisingly orderly structure for its age. At a redshift of about Z approximately 4, Alec Nanda appears as it was when the universe was roughly 1.5 billion years old. During this period, galaxies were expected to be turbulent and irregular, shaped by frequent collisions and unstable conditions. Instead, Alec Nanda displays the characteristics of a mature disk galaxy. It spans about 10 kiloparsecs, around 32,000 light years, and contains roughly 16 billion solar masses of stars. While smaller and less massive than the Milky Way, it is still substantial for its time. The clearest surprise is the presence of two well-defined spiral arms. To verify this structure, scientists used galaxy modeling tools to remove the smooth light from the disk and examine the residual patterns. The spiral arms remain distinct, confirming that the structure is not an artifact of the modeling process. This makes Alec Nanda one of the earliest confirmed grand design spiral galaxies known. The JWST observations used 21 different filters, allowing researchers to examine multiple components of the galaxy simultaneously. Near UV filters highlighted regions of intense star formation, while optical and infrared filters revealed the older, more stable, stellar population in the central disk. These layers together show a system that is both actively forming stars and maintaining coherent large-scale structure. Its star formation rate, around 60 to 65 solar masses per year, is high, but typical for early galaxies. What is unusual is how quickly the galaxy appears to have assembled mass. Analysis suggests that about half of its stars formed within roughly 200 million years. That rapid buildup would normally produce a chaotic, clumpy system. Yet Alec Nanda has instead reached a symmetric and organized configuration. The discovery stands out both because of its morphology and because of the time frame in which that morphology developed. Rather than looking like an early, unstable galaxy, Alec Nanda resembles systems billions of years older, challenging assumptions about how long it takes disks and spiral arms to emerge. Yurstash's Alec Nanda poses a challenge to the standard model of galaxy formation. In current cosmological simulations, a galaxy needs a long period of stable rotation before spiral arms can form. This process typically involves several steps. Gas must accrete onto the galaxy from the cosmic web, settle into a rotationally supported disk, and then maintain that disk long enough for spiral density waves, or related mechanisms, to produce ordered arms. These stages require time, usually billions of years, especially in the turbulent early universe. The early presence of a grand design spiral suggests that one or more of these processes occurred faster or more efficiently than expected. Either the galaxy formed its disk rapidly, or the environment of the early universe enabled disks to settle much sooner than models predict. Two main explanations are currently considered. One possibility is that Alec Nanda experienced a gravitational interaction with a nearby small companion galaxy observed close to its southern edge. Such interactions can trigger or amplify spiral structure. However, interaction-induced spirals are typically irregular or short-lived. 
expect to produce arms as symmetric as those in Alec Nanda, the underlying disc must already be fairly stable, which reintroduces the question of early disc formation. The second explanation involves clumpy disc evolution. Early galaxies often formed massive star-forming clumps due to turbulent gas flows. Over time, these clumps can dissolve and redistribute material in ways that seed spiral patterns. This mechanism does not require a fully settled disk at first, but the resulting structure usually becomes clearer only after gradual evolution. For Alec Nanda to display such clean spiral arms so early, this process would have to operate with high efficiency. Another important factor is that Alec Nanda fits into a broader trend revealed by JWST. Several early galaxies have been found to be more massive, more luminous, or more organized than expected. Some contain large black holes earlier than predicted. Others show extended disks or mature stellar populations. Individually, each discovery can be explained with some adjustments, but collectively, they indicate that the early universe may have been more conducive to rapid structure formation than previously believed. Alec Nanda strengthens this pattern because it presents a mature form, spiral structure, that is particularly sensitive to disk stability. Its existence encourages astronomers to reconsider the timescales and physical conditions under which disks settle and organized patterns emerge. Whether through revised models of gas inflow, new understanding of early dark matter, halo behavior, or improved simulations of star-forming feedback, this discovery signals that theoretical work needs refinement. The implications of Alec Nanda extend beyond its individual structure. Its existence suggests that the early universe was capable of forming stable, organized galaxies far earlier than standard theory predicts. If this behavior is common, the timeline of galaxy evolution needs to be reconsidered. Processes that were thought to require billions of years, such as disk settling, mass assembly, and the emergence of coherent spiral structure, may occur more rapidly under certain early universe conditions. A key question now is how gas behaved at that time. Early cosmic environments may have fed galaxies more efficiently than expected, providing steady, high-density inflows that allowed disks to assemble quickly. Dark matter halos could also have been denser or more centrally concentrated, offering stronger gravitational support for early disk formation. These possibilities affect not only Alec Nanda, but the broader understanding of how galaxies form across cosmic time. Another implication involves the conditions required for long-term star and planet formation. Spiral galaxies provide relatively stable environments for sustained star formation, with regions where gas can cool and collapse over long periods. If such environments existed earlier than assumed, then the potential window for forming planetary systems may also begin earlier on the cosmic timeline. This doesn't imply that life arose early but it shifts our understanding of when the essential building blocks might first have been available. To clarify the origin of Alec Nanda's structure, astronomers now need to study its internal motions. The key distinction is whether the disk is dynamically cold, meaning stars and gas follow smooth, organized orbits, or dynamically hot, meaning unordered, turbulent motion dominates. A dynamically cold disk would confirm that the galaxy reached maturity unusually early. A dynamically hot disk might suggest that the spiral arms are transient features or the result of recent interactions. Upcoming observations will focus heavily on spectroscopy. JWST's NIR spec slash IFU instrument can map the velocity of stars and gas across the galaxy, revealing its rotational profile. ALMA will complement this by tracing cold molecular gas, which is crucial for understanding how material flows through the disk. Together, these observations will determine whether Alec Nanda behaves like a true early spiral or an intermediate system caught in the process of settling. More broadly, astronomers will search for additional early spirals. If several are found, 
it would strongly support the idea that early galaxy formation was faster and more organized than expected. If Alecnanda remains unusual, it will still mark an important boundary case, one that pushes the limits of our models and highlights the diversity of galaxy evolution in the early universe. Alecnanda shows that galaxies could organize into stable structures far earlier than expected. Upcoming observations will clarify how such systems formed and how common they were. JWST continues to reveal an early universe that challenges our assumptions.